sure to join us tonight at 6 p.m. for the third Sunday night service. The speakers will be Elder Tony Dixon, Elder Anthony Evans, and Elder Kevin Brody. We encourage everyone to join us for Tuesday night service, August 21st at 7.30 p.m. in the Multipurpose Room. The speakers will be Elder Jonathan Jones and Evangelist Joyce Pickett. We also encourage everyone to support Bishop Wooden as he travels in the month of August. This Friday, August 24th at 7.30 p.m., he will preach for Bishop Leroy Jackson Willard's 27th pastoral pre-anniversary. The service will be held at Davenport Temple, located at 2575 West 5th Street in Washington. To reserve a seat on the bus, email Marilyn Wagner at Marilyn underscore 518 at yahoo.com. The NC Third Kojic Academy is still accepting applications for the fall semester, scheduled to begin Saturday, September 22nd. All requests for registration applications must be submitted via email to registrar at nc3rdkojicacademy.com. Your taste buds are in for a treat. The intercessory prayer team will sponsor a dinner sale after today's service in the fellowship hall. This Soul and Afro Caribbean menu includes fried fish, turkey barbecue, jerk chicken, mac and cheese, collards, pound cake, banana pudding, and more. Plates start at just $8. The Ladies of the King's Court will host an all-girls back-to-school prayer and enrichment in our local community, and your support for this initiative will be greatly appreciated. Donated school supplies will be accepted at the Youth Ministry Office through Tuesday, August 21st. For more information, contact Evangelist Tamika Douglas or any LKC staff member. Girls of Destiny will host its annual back-to-school meet-and-greet for girls ages 6 to 12 on Wednesday, August 22nd at 7 p.m. gathering classroom number two for loads of fun, food, and a school supply giveaway. For additional information, email Arquetta Lindsay at girlsofdestiny at yahoo.com or call the Youth Ministry Office at 919-829-6160. The Male Academy and Young Men of Valor will host a back-to-school prayer and enrichment session for young men ages 7 through 18. The event will be held Wednesday, August 22nd at 7 p.m. in the Fellowship Hall, and the speaker will be Elder Curtis Terry. The honor of your presence is requested at the marriage of Maya Powell and Bryson Smith, Saturday, August 25th at 1 p.m. here at the Upper Room, Church of God in Christ. The ceremony is open to the entire congregation. Children's Church will resume September 9th and teachers and youth workers are needed. If you have a heart for children and enjoy teaching the Word of God, please contact Elder Curtis Terry or send an email to urchildrenschurch at gmail.com. Hi, Bishop and First Lady Wooden. Congratulations on your 31st pastoral anniversary. Throughout the years, you've brought love, encouragement, and support in my life, and for that I am very grateful. Bishop, what sets you apart from other pastors is your willingness to obey the voice of God and the boldness you take when you preach and teach what the Bible says. Love is having a pastor who tells the saints of God the truth. Um, I can remember being in college and trying to find a church that closely resembled Upper Room. So I go and attend other church services in the area and um, to my knowledge, it was nothing that I could take away. So I'd hop in my car, I'd rush home, and I'd turn on Ustream, and there you are in the middle of preaching, and I'd see the saints of God going forth in praise, and immediately I felt at home, I felt the power of God through the screen, and I felt, I felt a connection with my church family. I want you and First Lady to know that you are needed. We need you and we love you continue preaching the unadulterated Word of God, and I'll continue being in your Amen Corner. God bless you, Bishop and First Lady Pamela Wooden. We are so godly proud for this opportunity to share into this video presentation. I am so grateful for how you guys have blessed us down through the years. You have been a blessing to our lives. The preaching and the teaching has made a tremendous difference. I remember Bishop Wooden on last year when I came to you in reference to my business. I remember having a conversation with you how it seemed that the enemy was trying to slow down the process. But it takes a visionary to understand a vision. And I remember when I talked to you, the one thing that stood out, you said to me that God has you in a holding place. You said in a holding pattern and God will not allow this plane to come down until he's ready. Well, I want to say to God be the glory, the plane has came down. The Lord did come through, He did bless. He did allow us to set up that 2,900 square foot building. He did allow us to set up four hairstyle stations 
three spa rooms, and a wonderful nail station. To God be the glory. Thank you, man and woman of God. To God be the glory. Bishop, we do thank you. We honor you. We love you. We appreciate you for the things that you've done for our family. We have been at the church for 26 years, and we just want to say from the Scarborough family, happy 31st. To God be the glory. <laughs>